so I'm just driving home from the event and I maybe haven't filmed as much as I wanted because I was just talking to everyone it was so cool to see that many women riding and racing and I wanted to run you through the weekend if you're watching and you've never done a race and maybe this will get you motivated to sign up for next year morning I'm at Hope Women's PMBA and Euro so it's a PMBA series but it's just for women and it's probably the best place for women to get into mountain biking it's in trail center so it's easy anyone can do it and this year on every stage there are uh, professionals or some very experienced riders who are coaching on some harder sections so you can even learn loads and if you're scared to go mountain biking on your own, there is about 300 women here. All abilities, it's brilliant. So I'm just pedaling um, on a practice and it's pretty wet, <laughs> but it's warm. So it's fine. Have a good one. Thank you. If you don't know what to expect, I put a GoPro on my handlebars so you can watch me ride down the trails. This event is in a Gisborne Trail Center, so you can come any time of the year and just find out if you're confident enough to ride these trails. There's two trails, the blue one is slightly shorter and a little bit easier, and we are racing on the red trail, and it's exactly the same. There are no added features. The only difference is that there's a start line, there's tape around it, and there's a finish line, and a lot of people cheering on you. You can take any type of mountain bike. It doesn't need to be a full suspension enduro bike. You can take a cross country bike or you can take a hard tail. You'll be fine as far as your tires are like some kind of decent mountain bike tires to avoid any punctures. The trail center is open to public so you can take your partners and boyfriends and they can take care of your child while you race and they can just go for a ride around the woods. Obviously where we race in it's shut but there are still places to go. It's a big forest so take them, take them with you. They can spend some time riding during the day and then they can wait for you in the cafe. This event is great because there's a proper base. It's not just on a field. There's a nice cafe with proper coffee, ice cream, loads of cakes, proper toilets so your partners can wait for you there and you can have a few beers later on. Hope usually does two of these events per year. I've done one in April and it was a mashup, which means there's no official practice, all runs are time and best run on each stage counts. So you can just ride all day with your mates, how many times you want each stage and then you will find out how you've done on the end of the day while you're having a beer. Stage <laughs> two. <laughs> the biggest difference from a normal enduro is that you can take as much time as you want and the person behind you doesn't need to set off in the 30 seconds gap. You can ask for more time or you can let them go so you don't you're not gonna get passed by someone. Obviously it can happen, but not very often. Everyone's very friendly and they will give you as much time as you need. If you're scared to sign on because you don't know anyone and maybe you just started mountain biking, just message me. I mean, I can ride with you or I can point you in the right direction. There's, there's loads of women. There's probably 200 or 300 women and everyone's very helpful. If you're scared to sign on because you think you can't fix your own bike and you're scared of a puncture or something, again, everyone will help you and also in the base where the cafe is, you can always come back. And this year there was Steph and Santa Cruz and some other brands helping with mechanical issues. So there will be people to help you and it's nothing to be ashamed of. This is like a great environment to learn anything about mountain biking, to meet people and everyone will be friendly. Okay, have a 
Thank you. Luck. Cheers. In every stage, there is maybe like a little bit of a harder section. So in, for example, in stage three, there was a little drop and loads of riders have never done any drop or didn't know how to go around it and how to approach it. So there was a coach, you could speak to them, they would show you what to do, you could watch out other riders, they would give you pointers and then everyone successfully made the drop or went around it safely. So it was a great learning environment, everyone felt really comfortable and all the girls loved it. Most important thing, don't worry about the result. I know it's called a race, but this is a social event. And the, the most important thing is that you're gonna have a good time. You will meet new friends and you will just enjoy it and you will be proud of yourself on the end. So sign on and I will see you next year.